Hi canners, welcome back to Stacy Can Can. Today I am making easy jalapeno jelly. And this is a request from a dear friend of my mother since elementary school, Karen, also known as Mama Karen to me, and her sister-in-law Bernice. So thank you ladies for the request and I'm, I'm happy to make this for them. They're pretty important women in my life. And the recipe is a great tested recipe from Ball from their complete book of home preserving. I'll have more information and in the detailed instructions below as well. So the ingredients that we need for this are 12 ounces of jalapeno peppers. And I, I did get them organic at the grocery store, but you can, you can do what you want on that. This is a great, use them up for your uh, summer garden too, prepping for that. Uh, two cups of cider vinegar, six cups of sugar. So jellies require a lot of sugar, especially when you're not using fruit that have some natural pectin in it. These don't have any pectin in it. So uh, we got to use a lot of sugar for that for safe preservation. And also two pouches of liquid pectin and each pouch is three ounces. So just keep that in mind. You're going to need a total of six ounces of liquid pectin for this recipe. An option you can add in there is some green food coloring to make it real green looking. I'm not going to do that. I don't want to add additional colors to the food I, I make. I try to be as authentic and pure as possible. Now, some tips that you can make to make this hotter. I'm not going to do this as per the request from Karen and Bernice is you can make it hotter by saving the seeds when you, when you, uh, vein them and you know cut up cut off the cut off the stems and add the scoop the seeds out you can put those aside in a and make um, a spice bag with it and at one point I, i'll tell you where it's at but when the when everything's boiling that's when bringing it up to a boil that's when you would add in the spice bag to make it hotter so that's an option that you can do again i'm not doing that today as they didn't want a spicy spicy jelly today so the other and uh, items that you need we do need a food processor today this is this is why it's called easy we're not using a jelly bag and pouring the ingredients in and letting it drain this is um, and this will also add another reason why you don't need the food coloring it's going to add nice little flecks of green into the jelly so it's going to make it kind of look marbly pretty in the jar so that's always fun we do need a stock pot you need your lids and rings and i do have uh, we're heating the lids today um, I am having, um, uh, we've got our paper towels there too. You're definitely going to need some gloves handling the peppers, the oils, they get underneath your fingernails. And I've, I've chopped up jalapenos before and had hurdy fingers for a couple of days because those oils get right up in your cuticles and under your fingernails. And it's, it's painful. Um, no matter how much you try to dip your fingers in milk, it, it's hurdy. So definitely do use some gloves of some sort. I'm going to need a knife for chopping and a cutting board, but we're also going to need our funnel, our headspace tool, our lid lifter, because I am heating the lids today, our ladle and our jar lifter, and I am using my electric uh, water bath canner, which I, I love a lot. It's just, a, it's just been such a great addition to my kitchen. So with all of that, let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to take the stem off here and we'll cut this little end as well and if you notice um, there's some connecting parts here so I kind of have like to have a little bit of a look-see and then I'll just cut down the edge here because that's that's away from the membrane and then this way we can open the pepper up and there are some people who are fantastic with their knife skills I'm not so much that great with them but we're basically just trying to take the seeds out and the membrane as well as that is where all of the heat is on the peppers. And now that I have the peppers cut up, I'm just doing a quick little chop like so and throwing them in here because we're using the food processor and I'm even using the very tip here. I will cut this uh, little, little part off and throw that in into the, into the food processor as well. Now that we have all the peppers in here and we're gonna add one cup of the two cups of measured vinegar. So this is one cup. We're gonna put the lid on like so and blend it up to where it's smooth. Well, side note, I do have my, my lids heating up, but now that I've got it nice and, and pureed, I'm gonna go ahead and pour the mixture into the pot. 
So the jalapeno puree is in here. I'm adding the rest, the other second cup of uh, cider vinegar and all the sugar. Watch out, this is painful. I know. Oh, six cups. And now we're gonna turn the heat up and bring this to a rolling boil, one that you cannot stir away. So I've got it at a very good rolling boil, which I've set the timer for 10 minutes. And you gotta stir this constantly while we do so. And I'm adjusting the heat as we go because it's gonna boil over. Timer has gone off, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour in the pectin, the two pouches. And we're gonna get this up to another high heat. And whew, uh, we're gonna boil this hard for one minute. I did turn the heat off just so I could put this in because it was boiling over quite a bit. So I got a good boil. We're boiling hard for one minute. Now we can scoop off some of the uh, foam here. We're gonna quickly do that. I'm gonna try to keep it as clean as I possibly can for this jelly just to keep it clear. I have my jars heating up in the canner. We are gonna be working fast as this is, is it is setting very quickly. We're gonna fill it to a half inch headspace. I do like that particular tool and we're at a half inch. I like this funnel the best because it does have a half inch measurement so it's easier to eyeball and cleaned our rim, adding our lid. Careful, fingertip tight, hot potato. And up and over, don't tip it. Into the canner we go. I have all the jars in the canner now, and I've uh, turned the canner up to high, which is the, uh, and onto the canner mode. This is my electric canner. If you have a stovetop one, you just crank the heat up to high. And when it comes to a rolling boil, I'm going to set the timer for 10 minutes to process these jars. If you're at zero to a thousand feet and it goes up, it, depending on your alt altitude, on uh, how much, how long you need to process the jars. So check below for that information if you're above a thousand feet. Canner has come to a rolling boil, so I've set the timer for 10 minutes for my altitude. 10 minute timer has gone off, so I'm gonna cut the heat to the canner and we're gonna remove the lid like so. And I'm setting a timer for five minutes, so it's a good idea to let the canner set with the jars inside for five minutes, removing the lid. This helps with the sealing of the lid process, so, so it's, a, it's a good step to take. The five minute timer has gone off, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this little cover off. This does a, a great job of helping to keep things consistently boiling. If you have a regular stovetop canner, you may not have that. Oh, wow. That looks really good. And remember, up and over, you don't want to tip, tip the jars to dump out some of the water. There's, there's some water on the top. One is already sealed. Two have already sealed. <laughs> Three. Check out that color. I think it, another one sealed. They're sealing left and right. Uh, but look at that color. It's got uh, it's got some great coloring in there, and it's it's nice that you don't have to uh, use a jelly bag for it. And here is our easy jalapeno jelly. And it was quite easy to do, especially without having to do the, the uh, strain, the juice out of a jelly bag. It does make it a little bit quicker and I think it, um, I think it tastes better and I also like the looks of it. I like that speckled jalapeno green flecks in the jelly that you get when you puree the peppers together. So, but maybe, maybe that's not your jam or jelly. Oh, that was terrible. All right, <laughs> so anyway, the recipe is down below. Uh, that gives some more detail and altitude variations uh, for canning, for safe canning practices. And also please like and subscribe the page below as well. 
If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, feedback, concerns, by all means, please reach out to me. I'm on Facebook at Stacy Can Can. You can at me on Instagram and TikTok at Stacy Can Can. My website is www.stacycancan.com, and my email is info at stacycancan.com. Thanks so much for joining me today, and until next time, happy canning.